Today we're going to talk about beer, or as I like to call it, botulism in a bottle. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Can I get some botulism in a bottle, bartender? Now that we're all warmed up, let's talk about beer. What is beer, exactly? Well, uh, some might say that beer is, uh, barley and yeast and, uh, hop mixed, uh, very delicately and aged to, 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 a, to a perfection. In reality, beer's actually just, uh, yeast shit. Yeast is a single-celled microorganism which has been placed into a closed environment of barley and hop. Now, this barley and hop creates concentrations of glucose, or C6H12O6, which these feeds on through a process called diffusion. Diffusion is the inside of the yeast doesn't have any glucose, but the outside has a bunch, so it just kind of absorbs it. The yeast continues to absorb all of the glucose in its surrounding environment until there is no more glucose. As each glucose molecule enters the yeast, it's broken down in a 10-step process called glycosis. The product the product of glycosis is two three carbon sugars called privates and some ATP, also known as adenosine triphosphate, which supplies energy to the yeast and allows it to multiply. The two pervariates are then converted into CO2 and ethanol. And all is the alcohol and beer. Pro -pro 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 Profane recap fucking yeast eats all the fucking food around it and then shits out beer. What happens to the yeast, you may ask? The yeast dies. <laughs> It's like a holocaust of yeast. Sometimes I feel like, you know, we're a multi-celled organism that's just kind of poisoning the earth. And one day, some giant alien's gonna come by and take earth and put him in his little mixing drink and go, I should have waited, but I couldn't because I wanted to be drunk right now.